Hello, I am Jenny and I am going to be taking you through your craft and prayer activity today. What you will need is you will need some blank pieces of paper, colouring pencils and colouring pens, a big piece of cardboard that you can cut into a cross just like the one I have behind me here and some scissors and some glue. If you don't have all of those things gathered together, I would pause the video now and go and gather everything up, come back and then you can begin the activities. What you need to do first with your blank pieces of paper is either draw around your hand or draw a figure like this because this is going to represent you. This is going to represent who you are. Because once you have cut those out, what you're going to think about is you're going to think about what amazing gifts and skills and qualities and strengths that God has given you. And you are going to write them onto your body or onto your hands along with your name. This is a great time where you can encourage one another in your family. You can tell your brother and sister what things that they are really great at. Maybe they are really kind and caring. Maybe they are great at sharing their toys. This is also a great opportunity for you to tell your parents how great they are. Maybe they are really generous. Maybe they are really funny. Maybe your mum is a great cook. You could encourage one another with all the amazing gifts and abilities that you have been given from God. You can also go to the Bible and find some verses from God's word that tell you about who you are in God's eyes. You are a child of God. You are loved. You are chosen. You are special. You are worthy and you are valued. There are so many verses in the Bible that tell you how special God thinks that you are. Take some time now to fill your body or your hand up with all those amazing things. Once you have got your bodies or your hands all filled up, now is the time where you can pray for one another. Because sometimes we don't think about all the good things about ourselves. We really quickly go to all the negative things. So now is the time to build each other up in prayer and pray for one another. Take this time now as a family to pray for one another. Once you have prayed for one another, it is now time to go and meet your cross. Cut your cardboard into a cross shape and decorate it. And somewhere on the cross, you need to write, we are the body of Christ. Because once you have completed your cross and you have decorated it, you are going to place your body or your hand onto the cross. And you're going to stick it on wherever you feel like you are with God. Are you at the very top? Are you somewhere in the middle or are you somewhere at the bottom? No matter where you put it, this represents how you are part of the body of Christ. How your sister, how your brother, how your mum or your dad is part of the body of Christ. It is a great reminder that even though we can't go to church right now, we are still part of the body of Christ. We are still part of the church, even though we are separate from one another. You could also take some time to create other handprints and other bodies of people that you know that are also followers of Jesus and that are also part of the body of Christ. Maybe you could add on your friends who you usually go to Sunday school with on a Sunday morning. You could create a hand for them and think of all the encouraging things that you could write about them onto their hand and then add it to the cross. And you will be able to see that all of us 
followers of Christ are part of one body and that we can come together and that we can praise and worship God. I really hope that you have a great time creating your little bodies, your handprints and the cross and seeing how worthy and how accepted you are into God's family.